Hey everybody, welcome back to QFab. Today um, I'm going to show you kind of a cool way to um, get some of that smoke out of your garage. If you're like me and you got a plasma cutter, uh, you get a lot of smoke, steam, uh, just junk you just don't want in your air. Uh, everything in your shop gets completely covered with a film. And uh, I'm about sick of that. So I'm going to show you a kind of a cheap alternative way to kind of help with some of that. With a uh, HVAC fan motor. Oh, shit. You can usually find this on Facebook, find an old friend. Um, they're rather inexpensive. This one was actually just given to me. These are gonna have an electric motor and a whole bunch of wiring, but I can show you a really easy way to wire it up to uh, just your regular 110 outlet. You will need a rectifier of some sort. So in this case, I'm gonna use a capacitor because we're going from AC to DC. In this case, I'm gonna be sending all that smoke out the window. So what I do is I cut out a frame. Don't make fun of my welding, I didn't care. Or my paint job, I didn't care. This will sit against the wall. I will mount my fan on the inside, blowing the air out. The fan also come with like a, a nine and a half inch hole. So what I did is I made a flange adapter on my plasma cutter. This way I can reduce down to six inches by just screwing in some self-tapping screws. So with this electric motor, you're gonna have quite a few different wires. Again, you need your rectifier, so in this case a capacitor, set aside. You're going to need the black and white wire, just like your house wiring. And then you're also going to have a ground, which is going to be actually ground to the structure because otherwise something goes bad and you touch this, it's going to be bad for you, so don't do that. The remainder of these wires are for speed control. That's actually if it's on your HVAC system. Why am I getting down here? If it's on your HVAC system, you don't need these, so you can just cut these off. Yeah. Wait, was that right? Find an old extension cord or something with three prongs. You need a ground. Black wire on black wire. White wire on white wire. And then I put a ring terminal on the ground and I'm gonna crimp it the wrong way. It's my shop, I don't care, it's fine. Okay, now we got it wired up. We're gonna punk some extra holes in this thing. Uh, some extra supports. And since I just painted this, I got to, I'm going to use a scribe to kind of scribe the paint off in the air I need to drill. This would make it easier for everybody. And because my windows are like sliding, you know, horizontal, I went ahead and picked up with some door sweep. It's got like this brush here to help uh, kind of keep a, a good seal on that one side that's actually exposed um, and also allow, you know, not stuff to come back into my shop. All right, so now we got a door sweep connected to it and we're gonna go ahead and mount it in the window. So now that we got the frame out of the window, we're gonna mount the uh, little flange here. Now all you need is a couple of these things. And you'll be ready to go. So now we're going to uh, Go ahead and uh, plug her in and see how much suction she's got. You don't have to have a HVAC fan suck the exhaust off your plasma cutter, but it, it sure does help. Yes, yes, it does help. So now that I got it mounted, ready to hook up some plumbing. And, uh, yeah, try and suck some stuff off this thing. So what I ended up doing is welding some angle iron to some square tubing to support the ductwork that I was attaching uh, behind the plasma cutter. Put on the uh, ducts with self-tappers and added a T. Ready to go.
All right, so basically that's uh, that's kind of the sum of it. Um, seems like it works pretty good. Uh, it's definitely better than what I had. You know, for a, for a low-budget situation, I feel like that's a, a pretty good fix. So appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.